worship our King. Come, let's bow at His feet. He has a great thing. As we were talking about our verse of the day, separation because we are stained, but He is perfect, right? He is able to make us white as snow because He is beyond and He's transcendent. He is pure. Holiness, sanctification is to be set apart. If you are sanctified, you are set apart, but not just set apart and then left in, in limbo. You're set apart for a purpose. That's the idea. Set apart for a special purpose. Isn't it incredible that God in His holiness, in all of His perfection, He draws close to us, right? He draws close to us and He, he wants us to draw close to Him. As He who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct, because it is written, Be holy, for I am holy. So God's holiness is the standard for moral purity. The best kind of person, that's the standard that God sets. And he set that standard through Jesus. Not only are you forgiven and heaven bound, right? You're given eternal life, but uh, you are sanctified set apart by the blood of Jesus, and you're made holy in God's eyes. Please don't miss that. That's how God sees you if you're in Christ. That's how God sees you. God wants you to approach him. Satan wants to tell you, you sinned. God wants nothing to do with you anymore. Don't bring it to him. Just keep doing it. But God wants you to take it to him. Right, appeal to him. Holiness and love are synonymous with each other. They're very close to each other. Because of holiness, God is able to love you guys so much. Sanctification is a position and a process, okay? You're sanctified in God's eyes, but he's also working that out in you daily. Not to earn heaven, but to be more like him. So maybe, maybe you're carrying around guilt today for something, whatever it is. Don't carry the guilt any longer. Follow David's example, acknowledge it, give it to the Lord. And it may not go away today. But you give it to him again tomorrow. You give it to him again tomorrow. The next day. The next day. While God's doing a healing work. He wants to heal you from your guilt. You don't have to do anything. He loves you just the way you are. And not only that, he set the standard that he was willing to pay the price for you. Right? Because we could never do that. We can never reach that payment, which is paid on the cross by Jesus Christ. Father, we, uh, we just continue giving this time to you. Thank you for meeting us, Lord. Thank you for... for who you are and how much you love your children. We do give you the highest praise because you are worthy of it all. Amen.